So what is the schedule of a medical resident in this episode of the TMJ Show, guys? I'm gonna walk you step by step through my schedule, hour per hour. Let's get into it. All right, guys, what is going on? Luxury from the MD Journey, helping you succeed on your medical journey with less stress. If you're new to the channel, quick welcome. My name is Lux. I'm an internal medicine resident. I've been making videos, now podcast episodes, for individuals just like you to help you succeed on your medical journey with less stress. So if you enjoy the concepts and message of this channel, then definitely encourage you to go ahead and subscribe to us on YouTube or in podcasts um, wherever you're listening. But today I want to continue the raw format of the TMJ show where basically I am answering the questions that you guys are sending me through email, through YouTube comments, and just putting them in the form of a YouTube video or podcast episode. So again, if you have pressing questions, you feel like I can answer them, then go ahead and drop them in the comment section or send me an email at themdjourney.com at gmail.com. But today we are going to be talking a little bit more selfishly about me and basically what my schedule as a resident looks like. So as we get into my schedule, it really breaks down to two different styles. One is an inpatient schedule and one is going to be an outpatient schedule. Inpatient is kind of like a hospital rotation for me since I'm internal medicine that includes things like ICU, normal general wards where you're just admitting patients with typical diseases, things like pneumonia, heart failure, and then there's things that are more advanced. Um, so cardiology ICU, medical ICU, um, so those are inpatient rotations. And then outpatient rotations are a good way to think about them as just like clinics. Um, so your general primary care clinics um, and then specialty clinics. So if you go see an allergist, um, that's gonna be where I'm gonna be working um, later today. Um, or if you go see a kidney doctor in their clinic, those are outpatient clinics. Um, so the schedule really varies depending on which one I'm doing. Um, but basically I'm gonna be walking you through first my inpatient schedules and I'll be walking you through my outpatient schedules. Now this is going to be similar for a lot of residents, but obviously if you're doing more uh, time intensive um, specialties like surgery, your hours are probably gonna start earlier and you're unfortunately gonna end earlier. That's just how it is. Um, but let's get into inpatient schedule. Now obviously this is going to vary from residency to residency and specialty to specialty. So the surgeons are gonna have much worse hours. They're gonna come earlier than I do and likely stay longer. Um, that's just kind of the nature of the beast. And there are going to be other specialties that will have um, later hours that are gonna be leaving earlier. So let's start with the inpatient rotations. I'm gonna walk you through in two phases. One is gonna be the morning and the one is gonna be the afternoon. Now the morning is gonna start anywhere from 5.30 to 6.30 depending on the day. Sometimes, depending on the rotation, your specific team is in charge of admitting new patients that get presented to the emergency room or are sicker in the hospital that require your care. And for those days, you may have to come in a little bit earlier because you have to take care of the old patients you already had on your list and then be ready to be responsible for new ones. But on other days, while other teams are all on call, you may be able to come in later because then all the patients that you have to worry about are the ones who have already been on your list. So again, 5.30 to 6.30, depending on the day. And now anywhere from 5.30, I would say, to about eight or nine is where you get to see your old patients, make sure you look up their vitals, their labs, document everything that's happened to them, come up with a plan, what do you wanna change, um, and then you're gonna meet with usually your supervising attending um, and talk to them about each and every single patient. So if you're a medical student, you know this is called rounds um, and this is basically where you get to present the progress um, overnight, give an HMP and things of that sort. So then from nine to 12 is typically where you're gonna be rounding on all your old patients, the attending who's gonna be looking over all the patients is going to give their recommendations on what medications, what treatments, what imaging, et cetera, needs to be done on each patient. And then basically after that, from 12 to one, take a lunch break if you have time. Um, and then from one to whenever the day ends, is gonna be the afternoon session, is where you're going to basically be spending a majority of your time basically carrying out all those recommendations that were given to you at the start of the day. That means, you know, getting in touch with specialists. If you have a patient with heart disease and you're not really sure how to manage it, or if you have somebody with an interesting infection, maybe you wanna call the infectious disease doctor to help you out. Um, those are gonna be doctors that you get in touch with in the afternoon, get their recommendations, apply them to your patient, and then if you have any sicker patients that you need to monitor that have kind of taken a course for the worst, then you can go ahead and monitor them and make sure they're stabilized before you go home. Now going home really depends on the rotation and the day again, but typically I would say on a general internal medicine rotation, you would go home around three, four, or five. Um, again, Again, sometimes you can have lighter days or you may go home a little bit earlier, but I would say that's the average. And then on your call days where you're admitting patients to later or on a more intensive rotation like ICU, you may not be going home until later, maybe like seven or eight, because you have to make sure that all the new patients are tucked in, all your histories and physical notes are in, that takes some time. Now let's get into the outpatient schedule, which honestly in terms of hours is much nicer. You usually start a little bit later, you usually finish a little bit earlier, um, and it really just depends on style. 
on if you choose to do this in the future. So this is a good example of where I can easily wake up, have an extra hour to my day, and then still find some time to record a YouTube and TMJ show episode for you guys. But typically an outpatient um, schedule will start, about, I would say about eight to nine is when clinic starts. Um, you'll go all the way to about 12 or when you're finished seeing your last patient for the morning. Um, and then typically you'll have a lunch break from 12 to one. You'll come back from one to about five um, or four um, and see the rest of your afternoon patients and then finish writing your notes and then you're good for the day. So yesterday, for example, I had a full day of clinic, um, which I came in at about eight o'clock, saw patients all the way to 12, had a lunch break, and then about one to four, 4.30 is when I saw my evening patients. Um, and then I spent about an extra 30 minutes to finish all my notes, about five o'clock. And I spent an extra 10, 15 minutes just kind of wrapping up things and looking up patients for future dates. That way I wouldn't have to do it the day before. Now those are basically my inpatient and outpatient schedules. Now a lot of the questions that I get is how often do you get off in residency? Do you feel like you have enough days off? Now the answer may vary depending on who you ask and what rotation you ask them on. Uh, but typically my schedule works out to where I get every fourth to fifth weekend off, like where I have a golden weekend, two days in a row protected, where I can make a trip outside, uh, go see family and things of that sort. Um, but typically within every rotation, I have about every four to six days off. Um, so about one day, one, two days average on uh, per week off. And it may work out certain rotations where I'm working several days in a row um, and then finally get a day off and I'm kind of burnt out. Um, but four to six days, I would say is pretty average. And so that gives me enough time um, to basically get some more sleep as well as work on other projects I'm interested in. Now a little bit of a personal note on days that I'm on an outpatient schedule or where I don't have to get in until like 6.30 or 7 or 8 like today, then it gives me a little bit of more leeway to wake up still on my early hours of like 4.30, 5.30 and still get an extra time to do some reading, work on some medical projects or work on projects for the MD journey like this podcast episode. So that just goes to show you that you can still enjoy your priorities, your hobbies, the things that are important to you um, and fit them into a busy residency schedule. You just have to find those open hours and sometimes it may just be an open hour and fit in your priority, whether or not maybe working out or spending time with a loved one, it's totally possible. And lastly, we have to talk about sleep. You know, how much sleep do I get? What time do I go to bed? Now, in terms of what time I sleep, I go to bed around 10 or 11. I would say it's pretty average. Sometimes I knock out much quicker after a busy ICU day, for example. And some days I may stay up a little bit later, especially if I have a later morning or a morning off. And in terms of the hours of sleep, I would sleep anywhere from about 10 to about 5.30 um, or five o'clock. So that gives me on average about six hours per day. And some days I may increase that. Um, to kind of compensate for days where I haven't been able to sleep as much. Now I personally prefer to get maybe 30 minutes less of sleep to be able to kind of get a jump start in my day, do a little bit of productive tasks before I head to work. Uh, but I know a lot of you guys may enjoy that extra 30 minutes or that hour um, and all power to you. But that guys is basically my schedule as an intern, my first year of residency. Um, it is busy, um, but again, it gives you still enough flexibility to focus on other elements of your life. Um, so if you guys have more questions of what residency is like, I'm gonna go ahead and link down below a playlist on YouTube that I have basically of what residency is like, what my schedules are like, as well as different vlogs that I've recorded um, during residency. So definitely check those out. Um, if you are listening to this on a podcast form, um, definitely go ahead and subscribe to the TMJ show. Leave a review to be considered for a weekly giveaway for a free ebook or a course. And also drop your comments down below on YouTube to be considered for future Q&A sessions that I do on the TMJ show. Um, but thank you guys so much for listening um, or watching. And hopefully I've been a little help to you on your journey. I'll see you guys in the next one.